Ghanaians should stop blaming Shatawale for good or stupid behavior. Welcome to the new episode of Entertainment News. I go by the name Pai Muka. I'm back again. Yes, Bulldog has been doing this to Shatawale for about, if I may lie, a couple of months, a couple of weeks, almost to like a year. Okay, like the people that don't know Bulldog, Bulldog used to be Shatawale's manager. He's been going back and forth with Shatawale, back and forth with Shatawale, but Shatawale never responded to him. I don't know why he didn't respond to him because we all know Shatawale <laughs> as the artist that talks as if he's already giving birth to twins. Okay, so on the internet I saw people writing Shatawale is about to blame, Shatawale is about to break Bulldog's family, Shatawale is about to break Bulldog's family. So I was like bro, what has Shatawale done again? So. Like, before I go further, let me tell you something. Bulldog went to UTV, downgraded Shatawale. Went to a couple of radio interviews, downgraded Shatawale. These radio interviews were done or were over. He went on his social media platforms, downgraded Shatawale. Wherever Bulldog was, he always talked bad at Shatawale. I wanted to respond to a couple of videos or I wanted to respond to... His behavior with a video bar, I decided to stop, not to do it, I don't know why. He did it several times, several fucking times, and Shatawale never responded to him. Because I think Shatawale even once came out and said, yo, don't mind Buddha, he's my big brother or something. Which means Shatawale wasn't even ready to go on one on, to go in one on one with Bulldog on social media, but Bulldog kept doing it. Bulldog was saying Shatawale's album, which is about to drop, G O G Black Sheriff's album will be far better or is far better. Like Bulldog was discouraging this boy. Bulldog was trying to demotivate Shatawale or was demotivating Shatawale, and Shatawale didn't say anything. So today, I don't know which side of the bed Shatawale slept. He woke up and chose violence. So he decided to drop things on his social media platform, talking about Bulldog, calling him calling him all sorts of names, female dog, and this and that. During this back and forth on social media today, Shatawale dropped a statement that is about to cause problems or that has already caused problems because now the police are involved in it. If we may remember, Abodam Kwaukese's manager, Fennec Ocheri, was brutally murdered on the 13th of March 2014. This young man went to God at the age of 31. So during Shatawale's back and forth, Shatawale quoted something, letting the world know Bulldog knows something about this murder. Let me read what Shatawale wrote and let's continue. Bulldog, since you are bringing up our, uh, since you are bringing out secrets, you will tell, you will tell Ghanaians what happened to Phoenix murder. And I am not joking about this time. I am ready to tell the court about what you told me about you and your men and how plan that foolish act get ready this ekufuado won't give you a murder chance to be on to be on our streets watch how this ends you can't fight time so this is what is causing conf confusion on the internet this is why Ghanaians are blaming shatawale some people are like bro if you knew who murdered phoenix the manager of kaukesi why you waited that long before coming out? If you decided back then not to tell or not to say anything about it, why are you deciding to talk something about it now? Some people are calling him snitch. Others are calling him homebreakers. Others are saying Shatawale is not loyal. Others are saying Shatawale can never be a good friend. But the things people forget, Shatawale kept quiet very long time, for a very long time without even responding to Bulldog. So if you have any other questions, you should be asking Bulldog why he decided to go that far. Because if we know, like, Bulldog has been around Shatawale before. So he knows, or he must know, how this guy things how how he behave or how he can misbehave so you just like teasing or bringing someone who is already mad or who you know he can talk shit when all his life gets out bro <laughs> it's your own cup of tea because if bulldog if bulldog had stopped i think it wouldn't have come that far 
Shatawale wouldn't have brought all these secrets out. Shatawale wouldn't have even said a thing because he kept quiet that long. That's what Ghanaian should respect. Bulldog is to be blamed because he, he, he got a big mouth and he didn't shut it up and decided to pitch this nigga. He decided to tease this nigga, to pick him to the extent he says things it should have stayed between both of them. The Biyanya, we cause our own trouble. We dig our own holes and fall in and fall into it at the same damn time. Why can't you just leave him alone? Because, like, yo, I, I'm not saying he can't talk about Shatawali, but you must know something like this. You've been his manager before, which means whenever you are out on an interview and people ask you about him, either you say nothing or you talk in a kind of way you don't go into details that's where professionalism starts because if you people break down or you people separated in good terms you can talk whatever the fuck shatawale will, will even watch it or hear it and laugh at it but if you broke up not in good terms whatever you say about this person it sounds like hatred in it in his ears you fool me so if i was to be bulldog i wouldn't even spend an energy talking about shatawali because you people broke up in bad terms so whatever you say sounds like hatred and the things he said about shatawali bro he was downgrading him to the extent like look shatawali wanted to drop his gog album before even jesus was born and so now the album isn't out just of just because of the demotivation people like bulldog have given him this guy has insecurity problems already so you going on an interview and downgrading him will even make him more insecure he doesn't believe in himself already so if you decide to talk anything about him you gotta mind how you speak especially when you both have worked before or worked with each other before since you people have worked with each other before police will take this statement serious if i come out and say bulldog did, did uh, this and that police will never give a fuck about me because they know paimuka don't know bulldog when shatawale comes police will yo will weigh this information and investigate because you people been friends before and when people are friends are good friends they talk secret to one another one will be true one will be false but at the end of the day when you are friends manager like yo i, I, I done fed your family before which means you we have sp we have spoken about things only you and i know now the police has dropped a statement about this let me read it to you and let's continue the attention of the ghana police service has been drawn to a tweet by charles neem ama mensa jr popularly known as shatawali the hey, police for why don't you look bro why <laughs> the headline was written the name in the headline was written right but the name in the statement was written wrong twice bro charlie shatawale sue ghana police for not writing your name correctly shatawale regarding the death of an of artist manager fennec orchery the police have made contact with shatawale who is cooperating with us on the matter the police would like to put on record that the recently established code case unit have been working for months on all unresolved murder cases, including that of Fennec Ochre, with support from the affected families. This new development from Shatawale is therefore going to complement our ongoing investigation. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all the families who have been working with the cold case unit since its establishment for their cooperation and understanding we wish to assure the public that the police will continue blah 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 so the police have entered the chat so let's see how far it will go let's see whether shatawale will be able to prove evidence that will put bulldog into difficulties or into a bad situation but me in case he proves evidence that confirms bulldog knows something about phoenix death Charlie, I don't analyze his own cup of tea because if he had stopped earlier, it wouldn't have come that far. I go by the name Paimuka. I'm out.